What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And we are in series four, volume four of uh, the Bling, uh, Bling on Styles textures kit. And this is the fourth tutorial and we're gonna learn how to create aesthetic Bling glitter text in Photoshop using the Bling it on Styles. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we're gonna do is we are going to create some text for uh, Instagram. So I'm going to make this width uh, 1080 by 1080 for Instagram. You can also do a thousand by a thousand, but I'm doing 1080 by 1080. And you can put the resolution, I like to bump it up to about 150 to keep it a little bit, um, you know, uh, a little bit more crisp and I'm going to use Adobe RGB 1998 colors and I want to leave the content black. Okay. And you can leave this at eight bit and we are looking for the orientation of, you know, straight up and down. Okay. Make it simple. All right. And if you don't know how to get to your, uh, to create a new document, you're going to go to file new. And that's basically it. That's how you get there. And so I'm going to unlock this layer so we can begin working with it. And if you follow the previous uh, video tutorial, um, I had given you links to the actual fonts that we're going to be using in this. So please follow along. Um, it is in a playlist and it is linked in the description below so you can follow along. All right, so let's get started. Now, I'm just going to drag my toolbar closer to the edge here so you guys can see this as well as my styles. I'm just going to place them over here and just drag it down so you guys don't get confused. And if you don't know how to get to your styles, you're going to go to window and styles. But you should have already learned this in the previous episode. I taught you how to open your styles and everything like that. You don't have to worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. Um, I just have mine set up so you guys can see this better. Okay, so first, before we get started, I want to show you what we're creating. So that way you don't get all nervous because this isn't very difficult. We're going to be creating this. And because I created these styles, um, they're already pre-made. So all you have to do is click. It's very simple, okay? So we're going to take the type tool and we're going to just type out the words bling and make sure you have your caps lock on so that way all of the letters are going to be uppercase. Okay. So we have bling and then to create this in larger size, we're going to press control T and we're going to drag it out. Okay. And I'm going to teach you something really, really cool to center your your text directly in the mental in the middle not in the mental uh, to make sure it's lined up so you're going to press control a command a if you're on a mac boo you got some money and um then up here you're going to see this little button uh, and that is how you center it. So it was just a little off. You see, I'm, I'm pretty good at centering things. But I don't want to center this in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt. And I'm just going to drag this bad boy down. I'm going to press Control A again. And click that little button to center it. Then I'm going to select both of these. And then I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And then I'm going to hit the center button so that way it centers it because if you try to center these, what it's going to do is it's going to, you know, make the text go on top of each other and that's not what we want. And um, so that's why you have to convert it to a smart object. We're just basically tricking Photoshop. Now, once you convert it to a smart object, you can undo this by uh, right clicking. Okay and then convert it right back to layers. And then it's gonna put it in a shitty group and then you're going to just ungroup those layers. 
and then it's just like back exactly the way it was. We only do that just so we can center it so our stuff is centered and on point. All right. So the one that I used here is the, the glittery gold one. I'm not really, I don't think I remember exactly what, which one, but we're going to make one similar to this. All right. So for the top one, um, I'm just going to go through some of these. I think this, yeah, yeah, I think it was that one. So in order, like, see, see, for instance, if you don't like the way this looks in size, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the layers, okay? And I'm going to move the layers so you can see this right above here. All right. So this, there's this little FX button. It's basically called the styles button. And you're going to click on that, okay? And go to pattern overlay. And you can change the size of this. Right now it's set to 25. You can set it to 50 to make the bling a little bit larger. Or you can set it to 100. Now I would suggest doing only 25, 50, you know, right in that range would look good. You can also change the stroke size up here, okay? So that has a stroke, now it doesn't. So you can make the stroke bigger or smaller. And you can also change its location. Right now it's set to inside. You can change it to outside. Um, doesn't really look good on, on the outside as it does on the inside. Or you could do center. I left it on inside because it looks good like that and I like it at five. So that looks really, really good. All right. So I'm just gonna put this back over here for now. All right, so if we go back here, we'll see that we have some sparkles here. So um, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get the brush tool here. Now, in order to create sparkles on here, we're going to have to create a new layer. We can create a new layer by clicking this little plus sign. Okay. So now that we have that selected, now we can go grab our sparkle brushes. So um, I have some of the legacy brushes open. So if you want to close it, you just click the down arrow button to close it. So I have the sparkle brushes up here and you can change the view. I'm really not liking the view right now. You can show the brush tip. Um, you can turn off brush stroke. And so now you can see the tips. And you could also make these look bigger and smaller. There's this, I don't know if you can see it because I'm trying to record this in 1080p and it cuts off right there at the bottom. So I'm just going to drag that up. And if you move this little arrow thing it makes the brushes bigger so you can see them i'm not sure if you knew that but you can actually do that so i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to make the size go down a little bit but the size you can control the size here and if you want to control more settings like the angle and everything like that you go to the brush settings here and with the brush settings there's this little wheel of fortune here where you can rotate you can rotate and you could space it out. You can do all kinds of stuff with the brushes here. And then like if you wanted to make a new brush from that, you can save that preset out. Okay. So it would be, a, it would be called a new brush preset. All right. I'm talking too much. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and put the darn sparkles on. Okay. So I'm just going to close that out and we're on a new layer. So I'm just going to name this sparkles. And to, to name a new layer, you just double click inside and you can change it to whatever you want. All right, so there we go. Um, and then to make it smaller and larger, you're gonna press the left and right bracket key. So I'm pressing the left bracket key. The left and right bracket key is next to the P for putting on your keyboard. I, I, I could have said something else, but I didn't. I don't want to be inappropriate. All right. Even though most of the time I am. So, right. Yeah, so you could just pick little different sparkles and just, like, bling this on up. Whoop, that's a little bit too much blang blang. All right. I'm just... Now, if you can't see your brush tip, you're going to press the caps. Because if you have the caps lock on, it kind of hides your brush tip. Um, just something just a little FYI in Photoshop. It's so weird. 
but we had to have the caps on because we had to make the the text all caps all right so there you go so that's that one so now let's make a second one so we can get this down pat so all right so how we know this is the second one i'm going to name it because i'm retarded and i can't remember anything um bling second copy i guess i should have known that it was the second one because it said copy but durr. <laughs> you know as smart as i am sometimes i can be completely retarded and um i guess that's why you know i rode the short bus when i was little anyways i digress so you're just gonna select the second copy bling second copy and um you can click on anything um any one of these that you want to do um i'm just i like that one okay that one has caught my eye remember again you can change the size by uh clicking here on this little fx button going to pattern overlay and you can choose 25 or 50 and i think i'm gonna go with 50 i like that that's a very crusty diamond um bling bling i really like that all right so now you can put the little um the shiny little um sparklies so we're going to create well you could do one of two things you can copy this sparkle already if you're lazy or you can just create a new layer and then just create new sparklies from there so that's what i'm going to do and if you double click you can make them brighter so i'm just double clicking to give it a more bright effect and then i'm going to find another sparkly let's let's look at this one this one looks pretty cool no i don't like that i don't think i like that i'm gonna pick something different um let's see this one this one looks pretty cool Ooh, that's pretty amazing. I like that. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Alright, so now you have your bling bling. And now you can like... Um, I'll just do another one for fuck's sake. Alright, so um, now you have your thing for Instagram. Now, if you wanted to create the, the gradient thing that I did in the background to kind of give it a more interesting definition... I'll show you how I did that. So you go back to your layers, okay, and go to gradient, and I just click this tool here, and you click on the little gradient mesh thingy, and you want to choose, well, not so dark. I'm going to pick this color because it wasn't completely white, and I'm just going to take that out, and you can double click to pick colors, and I just picked a darker gray. So it's going from gray to black. Let, let me just take a look and see. Yeah, it's kind of like a grayish black. But it's not really showing up in here because this, after I rasterized this and I uploaded it to Facebook and then downloaded it again, it looks a little washed out. So that's why this one looks brighter because I basically copied that off of Facebook because I was lazy. So you're just going to drag it out. I, I'm going to drag upwards. Um, I think that gray is still too light for me, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to go down a step further and see how that looks. So I'm pressing shift and just dragging down so I can get a straight line. Ooh, that's perfect. So you might have, might have to play with that a little bit. And then the next thing I did to give it a little dimension I created a new layer and then I took one of the sparklies, I believe it was this one, yeah, and I made it really big and then I put a filter blur, uh, no I think it was a box blur, filter blur, uh, where is the box blur, blur, or a gallery no 
Hmm. You know what? I don't think... I think I'm freaking blind because it was sitting right in front of my face. Ugh. I am not wearing my glasses like I should be. So, there. And then you could play with the blend modes and just get some interesting effects. And... I don't know. I think I put it on luminosity and then I just bumped that down a little bit. Just to give it kind of like a interglow. And some of the opacity down. Okay. And you can, you know, mess around with the spotlights. What I ultimately ended up doing is I put it on divide and then I just put a little highlight here and then I did a little blur, a Gaussian blur, um, just to give it some mid-tone highlight and then I pressed control T and then I just made it just a little bit bigger just to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight to make it interesting. And so that is how you make the bling bling text with the, uh, with the, uh, the kit. So I hope you guys like this and, um, I hope you get the bling it on styles. Uh, you can create all kinds of text. You can, they also come without the, the, um, I'm just going to type out here, bling it on. You can also take off the strokes. So if you don't particularly like the stroke, on some of these. Some of them come without strokes like these. And in the intro video in this playlist I show you all the styles. So you can go through these if you want. But um, like I said this one has a stroke on it. Um, if you want to go in here and take the stroke off you have to select the text layer. Click the FX box and then go in here click on stroke and then you can just remove it and then it'll just have the gold and then you can use it like that. Um, you can also paint with these as well and I'm just gonna turn that off so I can show you. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna get a paintbrush. Not one of these um, glowy brushes, I'm just gonna get a basic legacy brush, the default brushes in Photoshop, like a soft I guess a hard round with pressure opacity is good. And I'm going to decrease. And where are the styles? I'm just going to pick one. And you can paint. You can paint with these styles. And these are seamless, by the way. So you can see there's no seams here. You can just paint endlessly. Alright, so that's it. Now to save this out for Instagram, you're going to just save it out as a JPEG. Save for your computer and then save JPEG. All right. And I'm just going to name this Instagram bling bling. I hope you like this tutorial and it helped you out. And if you liked it, please subscribe so I can get in on that algorithm. And um, thank you so much guys for watching. And the next video, we will be learning digital painting and how to paint this glitter aesthetic directly onto your photos. So you don't want to miss this. That's why I wanted to show you a sneak peek of the paintbrush where you could paint with these because that is what we're going to be doing in our next video. Thanks so much for uh, watching guys and until the next video, have a great one.